Microsoft has introduced a slew of augmented reality doohickeys and widget what's its. The first, the haptic claw. Take a look. You can also touch and feel the shape of a virtual object, as well as get resistance when you push on them. You can also rub virtual surfaces and feel their texture rendered underneath your fingertip. Finally, you can also feel the recoil when shooting a virtual weapon. Okay, the gun thing, there it is. You're waiting for like, okay, cool, touching surfaces. And that's like, and you can also convincingly shoot a gun. <laughs> uh, what do you think about this haptic controller? I, I mean, I think we're moving in a good direction. I really like VR stuff. I think those games are really neat and imaginative and cutting edge and that you know, there are some gimmicks that are like, eh, that's not gonna be a thing. Like, let's all stop spending money on 3D TVs. But like, this is a cool thing that I wanna see take off so that people have the opportunity to make more with it. And while it's cool that you can, you know, feel stuff that's not there, mm -hmm. Uh, one finger. Right. It's like, we'll one get there. It's not Ready Player One. We're not wearing full haptic suits. They're like, Ugh! Right. I would like to try it because the one thing that I'm caught up on is, yeah, you can feel with your one finger, but you're also touching a ton of other stuff. I wonder if there's some kind of, like, touch blindness you develop because you're always in contact. Like, I don't always feel my clothes, but I'm wearing them, hopefully, for your sake. Now I can't stop feeling all my clothes. Right, but that's it. So... You start thinking about that and who knows, but if I'm always holding this and the only change is what's happening on my finger, it could build it all yeah, out. Yeah, I, I think you'd be surprised. I, I, my experience with VR is like you take them off and you're like, oh my God, where yeah. I totally forgot I was just in this living room. And it's it's different. I saw, I've seen like at a bunch of different like conventions or whatever, the VR games that they have and a lot of them have been limited to, you're on a tower so you don't, you can't move anywhere. <laughs> So you just have to stand and shoot things on other towers and the lack of any feedback. They have a lot of other augmented reality or, you know, uh, I guess it is technically AR because they're, it's like the haptic feedback is augmenting that experience within the VR framework. But uh, they have these other things where essentially it's two handheld devices connected with some kind of mechanism. And if you pull your hands to the side like this, it's like you summon two guns. But if you do this, then it locks it in place to make it more rigid. So it summons the shotgun functionality and whatever. And then they have other ones that if you bring your hands together, it locks itself in a, a car driving wheel. Did you see some of these other ones? Mm -hmm. They have, yeah. Kind of, they look cool. I wish they weren't all like, and you can hold guns like this, and you can hold <laughs> guns like this, and you can hold a bow, like, uh, okay, I get it, we can shoot stuff, that's what video games are. What else can you do? There's another one that's really awesome though, it is essentially like a roll, uh, like, a, like a, I guess like some kind of cylinder, and they put a bunch of button type things, like a fidget spinner buttons, and then it brings it up as you look in the, the VR world. And if you go to a joystick to manipulate the joystick, it brings up the joystick where you are. And if you move over here to a button, it brings up the button on the cylindrical device. It is awesome. The future is great. I love that in the meantime, they all look like Erector sets. <laughs> and then they'll make them look cool and like fancy dildos or whatever. I'm sorry, you will never look cool wearing a VR headset. You will always look like the lamest person. There you go. Um, speaking of lame people, that's it for us. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.